Eh, sure, why not? Well, good morning, everyone. It is a beautiful, nice and comfortable, quiet Sunday morning here. And I thought, what better time to make this video than right now? To top it off and make things a little bit sweeter, we're going to take my sister's F-250 and horse trailer out for a little spin. I want to get it out of the way here because I don't like to take up too much space on the street here. I like to maintain a good relationship with my neighbors. So we're just going to swap vehicles here right quick. Uh, a little bit of backstory on this truck. It's a 2019 F-250 with the Monster 6.7 Power Stroke Diesel that's got uh, ungodly amounts of torque. <laughs> it is a really fun truck to drive. It's incredibly quiet and incredibly powerful. I just got finished putting four brand new Toyo HT tires on it. You guys let me know what you think of those if any of you have any experience. This thing is just insane. Uh, <laughs> and that's with a big uh, gooseneck horse trailer on the back. And it's super quiet. It's incredibly quiet, uh, very powerful, and pretty efficient for the most part. Is it even running? Yep, it's running. <laughs> so quiet. All right, now what we've all really been waiting for. The startup and test drive of the RV as requested. Now the first thing that we're gonna have to do is get all the curtains out of the way. Don't really have a way to tie these back yet, so I just kinda wrap them around the seat belt here and they seem to stay in place okay until you open the windows. Assuming that you're familiar or confident with all your fluid levels and everything is good to go, there are no glow plugs, grid heaters, or anything on this 8.3 liter Cummins. You just put the key in there, just like any gasoline fuel injected engine. Oh, you know what? You know what might help? It's, it's optional, you don't have to, but if you reconnect the batteries here, that can help with starting the RV. So let's give this another try. As I was saying, just like a fuel injected engine, a gasoline engine, just turn the key on. As you can see here, we've got a few, few warning lights on, but that's normal because we haven't built air pressure yet. Air pressure won't build until the engine runs. The parking brake is on and we obviously cannot shift yet. So we're gonna go ahead and fire it up here. She fires right up, runs like a dream. It's gonna take a couple minutes for the air pressure to build. So while that's doing uh, that, let's go out and check the tires, make sure everything looks good on the outside. You wanna just take a look at your tires, give them a quick little visual, make sure there's no cord showing or signs of tread coming apart, especially if you have older tires. These are brand new tires, so I think we're gonna be fine. There's no oil leaking from the wheel seals. Those were just done, so we're all good there. Go down alongside and make sure all your compartment doors are closed, windows are closed, the awning's secured. All that stuff looks good. Check your tires in the back here, it looks fine. Looks good. Take a quick check underneath and just make sure there are no fluids leaking. You can see we're still missing that exhaust piece, but no big deal. Just weld a new one on here one of these days. Keep walking around. Everything looks fine. And although I didn't do it, now is also a good time to check your lights. So if you think of it, turn your lights on and your hazards and just make sure all the lights are working. Tires look good. Slide out is in. All these windows are closed. Everything appears to be secure on this side. The wheel looks good. Just take a look in the front here. Windshield wipers look good. 
Generator cover secure. We should be good to go. As you can see, we've now built sufficient air pressure to turn off the alarms. Right now we're sitting at about 70 PSI and climbing. That's enough to take the parking brake off. Now this transmission has no park. You only have neutral and your air parking brake. So with your foot, with the proper, uh, you know, footwear, safety first and protection and all, <laughs> apply the brake. You're going to push this yellow knob in to release the air brakes. Just like so. That releases the emergency brakes and now the vehicle will move. As you can see, we're in neutral. We're on a little bit of a hill here, but it still moves. We'll push the R button for reverse. And now we are in reverse. Normally we would have an image showing up here on the screen with a backup camera, but it is old, as you know, about 25 years old. And it's just not working right now. So, you know, these things have a mind of their own. I'm going to replace it with a color backup screen anyway with a lot better image quality. So that's coming in the future. We'll back up here. Just make sure we keep an eye on our mirrors. I do not like the way that the other shop that this uh, vehicle was at mounted that mirror. As you can see, the divider between the movable glass that goes up and down and the stationary glass is literally right in the middle of that mirror. I hate that. But it is what it is. I'm just going to live with it. I can still see out of this one fine. We'll go ahead and back up here. I'm trying to stay in the yellow lines of the parking spaces just so I don't constantly mess up the lines. But sometimes you got to swing a little wide. Watch out for that horse trailer back there. It's funny how these vehicles were ahead of their time with the push button transmission. You know, you see that on a lot of modern vehicles now these days, but little did they know that they had this stuff back in 95. Mm -hmm. Now I'm just gonna park the horse trailer and truck back in the spot where this thing was. So we'll keep that out of the way. Now to park the vehicle, again, there's no park. So you just hit neutral, places the transmission in neutral, and then pull out on this little yellow lever. That engages your parking brake. And now the vehicle won't move. the single most important thing you can do with this vehicle when making turns is swing wide and give yourself plenty of time to build up the speed this thing unlike that f-250 with the 6.7 power stroke is not very fast at all so I'm gonna let this traffic go by me first we got another truck coming this way so I'm gonna swing wide because this is a pretty long rig at about 36 feet swing wide here and then just let the rig build up speed. It's slow, it's not gonna get there very fast, but eventually it does. And once it does, it doesn't do too bad of a job of staying there. That engine has a lot of torque. Not much horsepower, but it's definitely got the torque. Now I'll give it wide open throttle here, now that the engine's warmed up a little bit. Here, and uh, I'm going to give the thing wide open throttle so you'll be able to see how 
loud the vehicle is at full throttle. Just a spoiler alert, it's pretty quiet. We're going to give it full throttle right now. It's about 2,000 RPM at about 45 miles an hour. Show you guys a brief wide open throttle run here. Like I said, it's not the fastest thing out there, <laughs> but it'll get there. Well, transmission selector over here has an economy mode and also tells you what gear it's in actively. I kind of like that. Now, if you press the economy mode, it doesn't let the engine rev as high before it shifts, as you'll see. So it shifts sooner, and it shifts sooner in an effort to decrease fuel consumption. It also keeps the engine in a higher gear for a longer period of time to keep the engine RPM lower, which reduces fuel consumption. this little turn here I got to make a 180 and then I'm by my house <laughs> as you can see it's a little bit tight but so far I've been able to make it every time gotta watch those mailboxes watch yourself in the rearview mirror and yep mm -hmm. we're good got it every time it works you just got to make the turn at the right time Try to stay as close to the curb as I can. Back up here and get over just a little bit more. There we go. Neutral. Brakes. <laughs> Wasn't really running it that hard. Uh, so the engine temperature as you can see is right around you know 170 ish or so so that's pretty good it's not too warm at all uh, the engines had plenty of time to cool down driving through these little neighborhood streets here so it's not like you got to let it run for a little bit to let the turbo cool down and all that so I'm just gonna go ahead and shut it off and that's it all right start up and test drive of the RV Hope you guys enjoyed the ride. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video.